Oh, that's okay, because if I cut my head off, then it might not have been able to see my bent leg either. Hello, welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Ian. I'm Lauren. And with Lauren here today, we will be working on some handstands and some bodyweight skills. And truthfully, I'm seeing some flashers after such an aggressive move so soon. So let's start our practice with some maintenance of some hands, wrists, shoulders, head, necks, and then we'll get to our crawls and ultimately handstand uh, inversions. So find a wall. Do you have a wall, clear wall space? Hopefully we can get into that shortly. Open those hand grips. And Lauren is gonna just quickly tell you what to do with the hands as I fix my hair because we were rushed to get in this morning and I know that that is gonna drive me a little bit nuts. So hands gripping the floor. Hands gripping the floor, fingers spread out wide. Pack your shoulders and rotate your elbow hips forward. Keeping that position, let's gently shift our weight into our fingertips and then push through the fingers to push yourself back. Great. And you only have one mic today, so I'll be doing most of the talking, but continue to look for Lauren for cues, inspiration, and form checks because she'll call me out. So this extension of the wrist is we lean forward and press the floor away. Perhaps one more time, straighten the elbows, push the floor away to return the other direction. Shake those hands out for a second, get to a tall lunge, and just gently talk to some hips. Hike a hip. Tuck a hip, hike a hip, pull a hip, tuck a hip, push your tail away, level out those hips, and gently press the knee forward on that front leg. By pushing forward, you'll actually go back. Think of this premise in your handstand to overcorrect, too much over there, push the one way to go the other. Slowly let your knee go forward, press forward through the foot the way you will through your hand, to go the other direction to tall. And you can see how Lauren is just getting to tall versus too far back. Let's do that one more time on that same side. Pull the heel in to let it go forward and press forward to go back. Take that front leg, slide it underneath the hip and switch out the other side. Hike it, twist it, turn it, but find that place again, excuse me, where we're nice and level. From here, Push the knee forward, squeezing your back butt cheek to accomplish that too. And push forward to go back to this tall position. How does that feel in this quad hip flexor area here? Could be alive. One more, two more times, sorry. Knee forward, press forward to tall. Last time, pull the knee forward and you think of this premise in our wrist hands in your handstand. Let's go back to the knees and hands. So we'll do a quarter turn at the hands this time, fingertips, mounds or uh, callus lines of hands, and then press the heel, heels of the hands down. Shrug your shoulders. That's going to be a useful position for our handstand practice, but right now pull them down. Press fingertips into the floor starting with the index. Feel some tension. Relax. Switch. Middle finger. Press. Relax. Switch. Ring finger, woo, tough finger, oh, press, sorry. relax, switch. Pinkies, and then press all eight to 10 fingers. Peel the hands up as you bend your elbows, and then push the floor away to get tall. Let's get into a lunge in the front. Open up to the side. We have forward facing hips and shoulders, and a lateral facing knee, ankle. Pull the ankle into the groin to let the knee go over the toe and push back to a tall position. Repeat, pulling in here to allow us to go over there and push away to get tall. Final repetition here, pulling in, heels heavy, press through the floor to tall, heel toe that to center, underneath the hip and switch. And same thing, we're gonna open that up. Are our hips level? If they are, we're feeling strong. We'll pull the ankle in and push away to tall. And again, we're extending this back leg hip that we're nice and tall, believe it or not. Pull the ankle in, knee goes over, push away to get center, squeezing, cramping glutes. Final repetition here. Pull, dorsiflexion ankle, 
press to tall, heel toe to center, and then down. The last wrist mobility exercise here is a little bit of a, gor a gorilla push-up. We'll be on our knuckles this way, pack those shoulders, and then one at a time, could you gently try to get the back of the hand towards the floor? The blood donation is forward and the armpit is packed. Press through the wrist to a stacked wrist. Alternate the other side, slow, control, and press down to go back up. We can modify this exercise against the wall. It'd be a little bit easier on the wall, but we take our neutral wrists out front and we flex to try to bring the top of the hand here towards the floor or the wall, and then extend the wrist nice and straight line going through. We could use parallettes for handstands ultimately, but having nice grip strength there will really help your handstand because we need it. I hate how the darkness is setting in here. We gotta figure out the lighting. Okay. So, Lauren's gonna deal with that. Excuse me. Um, I'm looking at the wrong slides here. Great. We're gonna roll around here. So gently get on your back here. Take your time, get low. While on your backside, arms overhead. Can you do that while keeping your rib cage low? Keep the rib cage connected to the hips. Hopefully this drill helps that. Take your arms at your side. Return one arm overhead. Take the other hand and point it to the ceiling. And using your legs as dead weight, point to the ceiling, reach that shoulder blade off the floor, rotate or point across the horizon, and end up on your front side. Take the alternate arm, point, and reach long, reach long, looking under that armpit, and slowly rolling to the back side. Let's repeat that to the other direction. I'll take my one arm, point the ceiling with the other arm overhead, reaching through the core, rolling over using our legs the least amount as possible, and nice and floppy, and then the other arm, reach long, shrugging your shoulder, and then rolling to the back. Let's try that one more time each way. One arm stays overhead, one arm points to the ceiling. Reach across the body, use your legs the least amount as possible, to the front. Then single arm reaches, try to use, avoid using that knee to push off. And final repetition, going home, point, roll the direction of your point. I enjoy that as an armpit lat stretch, massage, and then we're back here. Take a moment. Come back up to this all fours position here. We can roll in that side to side direction or a log roll, as well as rolling in this front back. With a single hand on the floor, bend the elbow and try to get your head through that window behind you. Come back to all fours and repeat on the other side. From here, lead with that hand, try to get nice and low and take a peek through that window out the back and then underneath. This is a really nice stretch. Let's repeat that a couple more. Wide open hands, initiate, this nice little roll. And then back to all fours, and then switch. And shake your hands and give it a rest for a second. Just watch. Just watch. The yoga plow move, super challenging. I'd like to do that with as little momentum as possible. And from a position such as this, we're gonna drag heels a little bit, pulling in, and with the strength of your abdominals, could you get towards your plow position? If you can achieve this, it's the slow, controlled articulation or descent through the spine to get the low back to touch, and then going through that hollow hold position to return to the ground. 
Save that in your memory bank for one second, and let's just come back to the original exercise on all fours. On all fours here, let's try to roll through and back up to tall. That's not, I'm sorry about the lighting here today. We'll get better scenarios going on next week. That's in there. Okay, so same thing other side. So take that hand, reach through, and back. If you're ready for an extension, follow me. From this position, I'm reaching my left hand through the window, tucking my chin. From here, I'm gonna try to lift my bum, and then maybe roll through. That beautiful, that light right there. Hopefully that can stick around. I'm gonna do that on the other side. I will take my right hand and reach it through this left side. I'm trying to get my shoulder blade to the floor, but I'll push and I'll just have a little gentle roll. You can go now. Oh, sorry, I thought you did. So again, we're rolling over the shoulder, more like a judo roll than a gymnastics roll. Gymnastics is more, there we go. I'm not <laughs> prepared to teach that one, but I do like the judo roll as a fun variation. There you go, Lauren, that's a nice one. Nice. Okay, let's get into our first crawling shape today, which will be our elephant to plank walkouts. Follow along, listen to cues, and we'll get going. With those wide open hands, we'll extend the knees, tilting the tailbone to the ceiling, and spending our first moment in our down dog position. Shrug your shoulders, pressing the floor away. Lift toes, wiggle toes, tilt your tailbone, play with that shape. From here, walk out to a planks position. And if that feels safe with our chin tucked, shoulders and hips engaged, continue to walk the hands forward and then forward, and then forward and forward to your safe forward, and you're still in your nice straight line. Now walk the feet to hands, feet to hands, and think of a press to handstand, and that I can only think of it, I can't do it, but I'm gonna try to walk my hands all the way in, compressing, stretching, compressing, and then let's just fold up for our first repetition here. And just relax. Can we check out Lauren here as she demonstrates one more of those repetitions? See if you're doing it to the standard. So Lauren has her forward fold and walking out slow. Pause here, plank position standards, hips, shoulders, head, straight line, shoulders protracted, pushing away, good. Walking the hands out as we can, holding this super strong position with her bum squeezer ab brace, and walking the feet back to hands and looking to compress and get tight. Repeat, oh. or fold up. Take a moment. I know that that could be a pretty heavy metal kind of exercise. Let's do that once or twice more, or watch for one set or one repetition, and then we'll get going. So if we are standing, we'll start with our forward fold, slight extension at the neck, and tuck your chin. Flex through that rib cage, pulling down onto the spine. Depending on that hamstring mobility, stiff knees or slight soften and then walk out to plank. Hold high plank, make sure that's okay, and continue to walk towards the floor. Three, two, one, and then walk those feet towards the hands. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And then I'll try that one more time. Join me if you can. Hands will walk out. And then I'm gonna walk my feet back so maybe I can creep back onto that frame, holding for a second in my plank and walking back up. In my fold, I'll come back and then we'll stack up. Used to use that exercise as a little bit of reward punishment for free throws in basketball. Miss a free throw, do a plank walkout. But a really great exercise for that core stability working on that overhead strength and continuing to shrug and press the shoulders away to help support. Into rolling one more time. I wanna roll one more time. I'm gonna work on one set of each. Come on down to the floor anyhow you can. Single leg squat. 
Anything fun. So on our backside to start, I'll be rolling to my left. So I'll have my left arm overhead. I'm gonna to point to the ceiling, reach across my body with my other arm, sorry. Reach across my body and up on front. Reach, lengthen out, legs as little as possible. Roll to the back. Alternate the other side. So I'm going to the right, meaning my left hand points. I reach across my body, roll to my front. Alternate with my right arm as I reach, reach, reach. And I roll. From here, explore a strict plow. Watch for one second. This would be a rambunctious plow. And that's fun too. Maybe you should do candlesticks someday too. But we really just want to work strong abs. So arms could be at our sides. Arms could be overhead. That's harder. With your arms wherever, be wary of tricep cramps, but cramp them up. I know. Pull those knees over hips. Recruit those lowest abdominals and pull yourself into a modified or plow position. Now the work is to slowly articulate down the spine, continuing to keep that nice compression. My triceps are screaming at me as I lower. Try not to use them nice. And then easy on the off. Watch me for a little bit of that modified or advanced movement. Continue that. And right now, if your bum is ugh, not able to really get up high, that's great. Don't be ballistic, be strong. For progressions, follow along with me. I rolled over just like Lauren and ended up on the position like Lauren. From here, I'm gonna make sure I don't kick my training partner nor the lamp in the corner over wherever. And I'm gonna duck under, sniff that armpit, press the feet through the floor to get my bum up, and slowly roll over and repeat. It'd be the last time we do this. Let's try that one more time. As Lauren just said there, other side. Hands, knees up, nice and slow. Take that moment, nice and slow to roll. And then same thing on the return to the back. Awesome. And control. Nice job. Yes, I like rolling. I think it's super fun. And again, if you are on the floor, do a roll. And then where can you go from there? Add on, play with it. <laughs> play with it and check it out. From here, let's get in one more version of our elephant crawl to walk out. Challenge that overhead and safely load our shoulders, our wrists, our whole entire part. Check in how it goes. Ready? Toes. Yes, toes would be huge on this one. No, like the, like the dog big toe pain or like our uh, handstand turf toe. Yeah. Okay. We're in a down dog. Please join us if you can. From our down dog position, we'll walk out to a high plank, maintain the standards of our plank, pressing the floor away and slowly reach those hands out front, getting to your safe low, butt squeeze, core brace, and then nice and control walk those feet towards hands. Think compressing in the abs, hips, pulling up those legs at the hamstrings and walking those hands towards forward and stand up in a forward flex or walk out like Lauren. No, that's great. Either one more time with me here or be good on your number of reps. Extension a little bit, flexion through the spine, pulling the rib cage down onto the hips. Soften knees for a modification and try to connect the nose to the knees. Hands down, walk out plank, hands forward, walk feet in. Nice and slow. Come on up, fold up to stand, and shake it out. Last week, we had some questions. Someone wanted to know how to prevent the rib flare or the banana shape in that handstand. 
The wall drill was one of the drills that we suggested to really check in. Using the wall as a face the wall drill is a drill for everyone. Facing away from the wall, kicking up ballistically, pretty advanced. So let's start with the basics and walk up the wall. First a minute of fun. Okay, but Lauren wants to have fun first. So for a minute, check in with your handstand skills today. We'll be practicing some kickups, aiming for about five or six, checking in on our enthusiasm, our line, and how things feel. Follow along and join and work on your handstands for about, that's great, thank you for that. Just work on your handstand for about a minute. Lauren adopts her tripod kick up as she's showing, and I prefer my step in. Ooh. I'm gonna alternate my feet just to try that out. Go. Earlier in that warm up, I said I see a little bit of stars. That's kind of gone, that has gone away. And just making sure that your body is saying that this is an okay pursuit. And that looks like a great line, Lauren. Nice. So, Lauren, what's one of your favorite ways to. Okay, okay. Okay. Do one more. Last rep if you want there. Nice. And come down. Looking good. Okay. What's what? So I was just going to ask Lauren there what one of her favorite variations to do there is. You might have seen us doing slightly different things. Can you share with us one of your favorite ways to kick up, whether it's a scissor or a split leg, and just kind of share that? Okay. I like to kick up. So Lauren. I like to kick up from my tripod position and first find stability with that one leg vertical. And then once I find that, try to meet with my second leg. Great. And I'll be a, an example of a spot for our second repetition. We'll let Lauren do it by herself and I'll jump in for a spot on the second. So if you're doing this with a friend, this is how your friend could help. Thanks. Great. That's what she said. A spotter could take their foot pretty darn close to someone's hand, at the ready to support a hip and a foot, and just a light touch. And then maybe we could switch touches, and I'm gonna hold the other leg, and Lauren will lower the other with control. Fun variations to play with. Keep coming back for more, but we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We haven't even handstanded yet. Wall climbs. Working on our wall climbs and our splits. How is your wall climb? Do you know what we're talking about? Great. One second, Lauren. This could be another quick example of a wall climb. If Lauren placed her feet on the vault here, how does that feel? Walk out to a planks position first. Can we hold our elevated foot position and maintain the standards of our plank? If this was the case, Lauren could walk her legs up the wall walking her legs up the wall with entire body tension, as you can see, and then here, we'd be facing the wall. We're gonna let Lauren come out of that in a little bit of a side cartwheel, and relax. Please join us in this wall pursuit, but start low, work your way closer to the wall, and higher up as we gain that overhead strength and confidence with experience. Lauren's gonna go for a 30 second round. Join us for two to 10 to 20 to 30 seconds of those. Come join me in your splits if you wanna watch first. 30 seconds of work, be with Team Lauren or Team Ian here. And I'm gonna work on a little bit of a split here. Modified 90 position, sitting tall. We'll talk more about the handstand. Lauren is breathing, she has tight legs. She's pressing the floor away as she continues to grow. Her bum is squeezing, and right now, she's just very slightly pulling off the wall to test her balance. She has two feet off the wall right now. We'll have five more seconds to go, and finish with integrity, and let yourself come down safely, clear of obstacles. 
That was my right leg forward. The next time I'm back down, I will have my left. Keep that in your mind if you're with me. If you just did that exercise, feel free to tuck in your shirt and modify appropriately. And Lauren will be in her split the same way I was there, playing with it, sitting tall, hinging forward. And again, here we go for 30 seconds, three, two, one, pressing to tall, pushing the floor away, maintaining your breath and feeling the floor. Probably won't talk too much here, but I'm off the wall and just very casually using my toes to touch, but continue to touch and we'll have five more seconds here in five, in five. four, three, one. and one. <sighs> and there we go. Were you able to make 30 with me? Was that too easy? Scale to your ability, but again, work for integrity and avoid failure. And ugh, work on those splits. My turn. Lauren's turn. We're going to try to waive the time. Lauren's first set was a 30 second rep. We're going to try to go to 45. The set following will be back down to 30. So 30 seconds. If that was great, let's try to challenge it by adding 10 to 15 more seconds. Lauren will go for 45. She's setting up, hands are gripping, taking her time, and walking up the wall. Yes, now. Nice. So, hands are underneath the shoulders. Take a look at your hands. That's where Lauren is looking when she's upside down. She might look at the wall too. But when we, myself included, are in our handstands, typically we're going to look between the two hands. That's been 25 seconds already, very quickly approaching 30. Maybe continue for 15 seconds, maintaining your breath, extension through the elbows, the shrug, and for four, three, control your dismount and relax. And I did not have my left leg in front. So well, maybe next time I will. 45 seconds huh. is long. 45 is a long time. So we're going to tuck in shirts, make sure we're all good. And in four seconds here, we're going to walk up that wall, aiming for 45 seconds. And we're off to the races. Open the hands, press through, connect the rib cage to the hips, and squeeze the bum. Push and point those toes to the ceiling trying to get those hands within a couple inches of the wall and breathe and breathe. So that's been 30 seconds and we're 10 more seconds to go. And I can feel my elbows wanting to soften. So I'm really thinking about extending them for the last three seconds here Two, and cartwheel esque dismount and shake. And Lauren's checking out her garden fingernails a little bit while also being in her split. And those stars are maybe coming back, so I think I should get down low. Whew. We'll get low. And we'll watch. Lauren. So we're back to a 30-second interval. We hope that you got to 30 or 45 or 5 and 10, something of that same variation. And now we're going to come back to your modified number. For Lauren and I, that's going to be 30 seconds. Let's go in five, four, left leg out for those on the floor maybe, three, two, and slowly go. And we're aiming for a 30 second repetition. As you can see, Lauren's just gently walking to the wall, making sure she knows and likes exactly where she has her hands, her elbows, the shoulders, the ribs. We're maintaining the breath. That's halfway or 15 seconds. Breathe. Play with this split position with me on the floor. And in four, three, two, come out. Better to come out of it with control than to be forced out of it by some other external influence. My turn? Yeah. So we're back to 30 seconds on the wall. I'll just modify again. So just a little bit of a regression for that skill would be maybe something we call our pommel or vault stand here. <clears throat> Sorry. So I can set up in my planks position here. The goal in the vault stand is to get the bum towards overhead. 
stretching out those hamstrings. Press the floor away, making sure that's okay. Personally, I need a higher box to really get this where I want it to be, but learning about keeping the shoulders over the wrists, and if you're on the wall, maybe we have 10 more seconds if Lauren was counting. Yeah, I know, I know, I can feel you weren't counting. And then gently. <sighs> so a slight variation to that drill could be our vault stand. Work on that wall climb, build endurance through the hands. We're going back towards 45. So take maybe an extra second of rest. Hang out, maybe take a sip and do your bit. Hopefully this can be our second last set. So we have a 45 here for Lauren, and let's go in maybe about 10 seconds if we're ready. Team Lauren, check it out. I'll sit in my little side split here. Again, in our split, we're tall, and we're gonna go in three, two, one. Take the time walking up, breathing and pointing. You got it. So again, Lauren's fingertips are white. I can see them from here. Her elbow pits are trying to screw forward as her ribs stay tucked and the tension stays high. That's been the first 20 second interval. Aim for 45, but listen to your body. You know how it feels. Very quickly, this is 30 seconds. You can tell the fatigue is setting in. There's the mental fatigue as well as the complete body fatigue. We have 10 more seconds to make it 45. Five more seconds to make 45 in three, two, slow off, done. Nice, Lauren. Well, that was really hard today. Great job. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, it was hard. That was hard. I don't know why. You all right? Yeah, it was just hard. It's hard. It's hot. It's, it's hard. hard. We're doing stuff upside down. And I'm trying to play for time here, but I should, I should get going. I, I should get going. Agree. Okay. So tuck those shirts in, make those conditions just right. And 45 seconds, minimal talking as it will take quite a bit of work here for me. In four, three, two, take your time walking up and walk to the wall, press away from the floor. Squeeze your butt, point the toes. Keep a foot on the wall switch or tap or try to find a place where both feet can be off the wall. Yeah. Lauren's telling me to press up. I can feel that I'm slumping a little bit. So I'm going to continue to press the floor away and point my toes. And yeah, yeah. She says, that's my shape. We're going to continue for 15 here, team breathing, pressing away, tucking. Ooh. Ooh. and our dismount. Previous weeks again, we have worked on that cartwheel. Work on that cartwheel to help that confidence of the dismount. I would like one more round. Who's with me? I got a great training partner here, so thank you so much. Oh, we don't need to do that. No, it's your turn. We know, I know whose turn it is. My triceps know whose turn it is. Join me in my little side split again here. Lumbar extension, heart tall. Team Lauren for those last set of wall standards. Let's go in five or seven seconds here. Take the breath, tuck the t-shirt, and in three, two, walk up. Point toes, get the hands exactly where you want, and that's your first 10 seconds. I like doing rib slides from my splits. I like doing active liftoffs from my splits. And Lauren, that's already been 20 seconds. So team handstand, we got 10 seconds or less now. Finish with strength, pointed toes from the top, straight knees, bum squeeze. It all looks good here. Three, two, and down. Very well done. Shake out those hands, stay loose. Last set of that wall stand here today. Ready to roll. Whew. 30 seconds in about 10, nine. Hands where you want. Slowly set up. 
feet on, walk in. And let's start our timer right now. Can you hear her? Straighten my elbows. Breathe. 15 seconds, she says. I need to tuck my hips. It wasn't Lauren's ah that threw me out. It was, it was my own internal ah that said no, maybe I, I should. I, I was coming that way. Yeah. I know I felt that too. That's why I came down. We did that. We did that. We did five sets of that. That can be a ton. Handstand practice doesn't need to be an hour. It definitely could be if you have the strength and endurance of a professional circus athlete. For modified work, take your time, enjoy your rest, and always have fun. Oh. To finish off today's moment of fun, I like to revisit other skills we've been working on, including that side squat cartwheel. For that, the beginner version could be something like this. From your squat stance of your depth of choice, take a hand, 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 lift a foot maybe, and then come back towards the squat. Hand, hand, maybe lift a foot, and then back down. Great. Progress that skill for us, Lauren. Just like Y'all move, I'll move, I'll move here. Good. Ooh, with a stall. Very cool. So to finish off today's practice, we'll be doing side squat cartwheels, maybe for as long as a minute. Follow, follow along, have fun. I'll do my first two in that modified way and continue, and then join me as you can for our squat cartwheel. Three, two, I'll go first. Hand, hand, weight transfer, hand, hand, Weight transfer, Lauren's turn. Same thing for me, hand, hand, with a little bit of weight. Hand, hand, little bit of a pause, and under. And I have to move this. I have to move that, that's dangerous. There we go. And then the full for me here. And then stand up. I'm not sure if that was a minute, that was enough. but that's enough of that. It's enough of that. Come on down and have a tall sit here. Oh, have a tall sit. I feel great. We've yeah. been in our backyard already today with a group of people doing some nice stretches. And it's nice to finish off with this body weight practice with you. So thank you for this opportunity to train, to stay strong and have fun. I'm Ian. I'm Lauren. And together, we're, we're bars and bells. Bars and bells. Bars and bells. Bars and bells. Simple yeah, things bells. and fun things. Join us again at any of our live classes. Visit our website at barsandbells.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information. Tomorrow morning, we have the morning routine, which might be a nice way to restore from this practice or prepare for next week. Give us that like. Give us a subscribe. It's going to be in one of those corners right there when we get going. And come back soon for more. Thanks very much. Always a pleasure. Have a great weekend. Stay cool and stay hydrated. Goodbye.